everyone, I'm Ava and I'm an American living in the Netherlands. And today I wanted to talk to you about some differences between the Netherlands and Belgium. Even though the two countries are so close together, they border each other, there's Dutch spoken in both of these countries, even though in Belgium they also speak French and German in some parts, it's just they're not the same and there are differences that I thought would be interesting to explore because I am in Belgium. So more specifically, I am in Ghent and I'm coming to you from my bed and breakfast in Ghent. Oh, my bed and breakfast, I wish, because this place is so cute, but the bed and breakfast I'm staying at. I'm sure you knew that. So this place is really cute. This is where we're staying in a cute little bed and breakfast that even has its like own clade camera, its own like dressing room. And there's like our stuff, which I'm cleverly leaving out of sight. You can see some of our coats, but who cares about that? And yeah, and the best part of course is the bathtub. We do not have a bathtub at home because like, what do you think? There's space for that? No, I live in the Netherlands, but look at this, at least on holiday. We get to enjoy a bath. It's my first time in Ghent, and although it is my first time in Ghent, it is not my first time in Belgium. Although the first time I visited, I was not living in the Netherlands, my Dutch was non-existent, so I couldn't really fully appreciate this contrast between the Netherlands and Belgium. So to start with, I wanted to get two things out of the way. Number one, I wanted to talk a little bit about the language. Now, the first time I was here, like I said, my Dutch was non-existent, so I did not notice an accent. In fact, Dutch, Flemish, it all sounded the same to me. And when people spoke to me in Dutch or Flemish, I, I didn't notice anything. Now that I'm here, I keep telling my girlfriend how much I love the Belgian accent. It is so cute and it sounds very French and I was really surprised to hear it. And I've heard it, of course, on TV from time to time or uh, Belgian people I know in the Netherlands, but it is really startling to, for me at least, because I'm now used to the Dutch spoken in the Netherlands, to hear the, you know, accental differences. And also here I notice some vocabulary differences that are also interesting. For instance, we were just at brunch and we had a chocolate cook or chocolate cookie, one of the two. And we weren't sure what that was because to me it sounded either like a chocolate cookie or a chocolate cake like thing, but that's what they just call chocolate croissants here. And I think in the Netherlands, I would use the French term pain au chocolat. I don't speak a word of French, so no making fun of my French. Okay, so the language is little different, but also the same. And I love it that now when I speak, apparently people can hear that I have a Dutch from the Netherlands accent, although there's so many different accents and different variations of Dutch spoken in the Netherlands as well, but you know what I mean. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is the difference in architecture between the two countries. Now, of course, a lot of it is similar, but I also felt like the moment I got out at the station in Belgium, I, it wasn't even in Ghent, but the moment I arrived in Belgium, I could really feel the difference in vibe and architecture. So as you can hear, we're in Belgium already, and I can't believe how clearly different it is from the Netherlands. It's just, you can immediately feel the different vibe and architecture. I mean, not as much as if you were in the US, of course, but it's different, like even the station's different. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like the buildings here, even though they do have similarities, some of them are a bit more ornate. And I really don't see these like ornate, intricate designs in the Netherlands because I feel like it's very plain, beautiful, but don't really see these designs. And I'll show you some examples here. If you take a look at these, I feel like in Utrecht or in Den Haag, there's this hotel, I think the Indus Hotel. You can see that there's some more decoration involved on the outside of these buildings. But typically in the Netherlands, you find it plain, simple, nice, you know, kept very neat and pretty. But here the colors are, you know, all over the place, just like in the US. Uh, I love it, but it's uh, different. And also the designs. So it's been a real pleasure walking around and taking a look at this. So those are my first impressions. And now we're off to a walking tour and I think I will see much more of Ghent then. So if you haven't tried a free walking tour in a new city before, I can definitely recommend them because 
well, they're free, but then you pay as you wish. And I've really learned a lot about the cities that I've visited through these walking tours. And Ghent is beautiful. I don't think I've seen a square like this in the Netherlands. Not this big anyway. So of course I had to get fries in Belgium. And this is the small portion of fries. You won't believe it. I finished. Just kidding. I only finished the stuff that was on the tray. Still so much to go. I'm not gonna finish this. And after some amazing fries, what is my life? Look at where I'm sitting. In a park just in front of these beautiful monuments. Incredible. But you know what's the same in the two countries? The Albert Heijn. Yup. But in case you were wondering, once again, this video is not sponsored by the Albert Heijn. Although they really should, I'm a big fan. Okay, so the walking tour was really great. It was really a lot of fun and we learned a lot about the history of Ghent as a city. And it's actually really interesting. So something to look up if you don't know. But that said, I also got the opportunity to notice other interesting things. So we did go out to eat a little bit because that's something that we love to do while we're here or while we go travel anywhere because, well, we also don't have a kitchen to cook. So while we were going out to these places, something that I noticed was that unlike Dutch people, it seems that Belgians love rules. They actually enjoy some small types of rules that I've seen at restaurants in particular. If you go to a restaurant here or go out, it would not be unlikely to see something written on the menu like one dish per person or one check per table. Um, we even saw something like you have to order, uh, these sides are only made to order with a main dish and all of this just on one menu. So that was interesting and I saw this at a couple of places. Now I can't generalize this to all of Belgium. I'm just telling you about my experiences over the last two days. And another couple of uh, smaller things that I noticed was that it seems like people use more cashier than I'm used to in the Netherlands. Again, I'm not sure if this is just a Gent thing or something that is happening in the touristy areas, but I have seen more people using cash or paying with cash and just places that accept cash more than in the Netherlands. And then, speaking of cash, it seems like going out for lunch here is more expensive than it would be in the Netherlands, or at least in Utrecht. And Utrecht is not a cheap city, so, and of course it depends on where you go to. But for instance, we went to, I would, like a place where I would consider, you know, normal-ish brunch place, hipster, trendy, the kind that I go to anyway, even in Utrecht. And it was like, they were charging up to 18 euros for eggs. And I felt like, I'm not sure if in Utrecht, unless you are a very special place, you could charge 18 euros for eggs. I, that's a lot of money, <laughs> which in the Netherlands, you know, Dutch people might not like because, well, they like a good deal. Okay, first of all, it is golden hour in Ghent. Had a pretty great day. But what I wanted to point out to you are these bicycle lanes. I'll show it to you. So I've seen these quite often here where they, I don't know if this is a Ken thing or a Belgian thing in general, but they really just blend with the road. And it's not everywhere because you see down here, you kind of can make out the difference, but over here, that's not the case. So that's a bit tricky. So as you can see, I'm at the station, I'm heading back to the Netherlands. My trip to Ghent was amazing. Lots of good fries, beer, Belgian chocolate, waffles. I mean, 
And I have to say, even though before I came here, I definitely expected some differences between the Netherlands and Belgium, but I didn't expect such fast differences in some instances. It definitely feels like I'm in a different country and I really enjoyed my experience. So as usual, if you have anything to say, don't hesitate to comment down below. And until next time,